Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabat Tufillah continue on in our study of how we should uh, interact with our non-Muslim parents and in fact all uh, our parents whether they're Muslim or non-Muslim we reach the uh, portion of the treaties where the Shaykh, Shaykh Abdul Razak Hafizullah Ta'ala he said and this is an advice for those in this situation, meaning the, the situation where their parents are non-Muslim and they call them to shirk. To remain patient upon faith and upon the religion and to not be affected by his parents in any way by the polytheism and disbelief they call him to. And then it is upon the child to spare no effort in guiding his parents to this religion and to strive diligently in this with gentleness. How? With gentleness. Kindness and the continuation uh, of supplicating and asking Allah the Exalted to guide his parents. He should pray during the night as much as Allah wills and supplicate for his parents. He should supplicate while in sujood, <clears throat> meaning that he is uh, in prostration on his face during his obligatory and super, super, supererogatory prayers for Allah to guide his parents. Thus, he combined giving da'wah to his parents and making du'a for him, for them. He supplicates to Allah and he invites his parents to Islam with gentleness and a kind word as Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu did with his mother. May Allah be pleased with him. The story is in Sahih Muslim, and it is a tremendous, tremendously great story. He said, I invited my mother, who was a polytheist, to Islam. I invited her one day, and she said to me something about the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which I hated. I came to the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, weeping, and I said, O Messenger of Allah, I invited my mother to Islam, but she did not accept my invitation. I invited her today, but she said to me something which I did not like. Supplicate to Allah that he may guide the mother of Abu Huraira to Islam. Thereupon the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh Allah, guide the mother of Abu Huraira. I came out quite pleased with the supplication of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when I came near the door, it was, it was said, uh, when, I, when I came near the door, it was closed from within. My mother heard the noise of my footsteps and she said, Abu Huraira, just wait. And I heard the noise of falling water. <clears throat> she took a bath and put on the shirt and quickly covered her head with a headdress and opened the door and then said, Abu Huraira, I bear witness that nothing has a right to be worshipped except for Allah and Muhammad is his slave and his messenger. He, Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala, who said, I went back to the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this time I was shedding the tears of joy. I said, O Messenger of Allah, be happy, for Allah has responded to your supplication, and he has guided the mother of Abu Huraira. He, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, praised Allah and glorified him and uttered good words. I said, O Messenger of Allah, supplicate to Allah so that he may instill love of me and that of my mother into the believing servants and let our hearts be filled with their love. Whereupon the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, O oh Allah, let there be love of these servants of yours, Abu Huraira and his mother, Radiallahu in the hearts of the believing servants, and let their hearts be filled with the love of the believing servants. Abu Huraira Radiallahu said, This prayer was so well granted by Allah that no believer was ever born who heard of me and who saw me except that he loved me. Then the Shaykh said, therefore this great story is a methodology for the Muslim. This is the Minhaj of Muslim who has been tested by one or two disbelieving parents so he can proceed as Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu proceeded with his mother by supplicating to Allah to guide them and also giving them da'wah with kindness and good words. 
good interaction with the parents and taking into account good manners with them, softness in dealing with them, and being a good companion with them as much as possible is from the reasons for the parents to be guided to Islam. And we'll end it there to keep it concise. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.